Dr. Hotze is the leading expert on hypothyroidism, one of the biggest problems this country has ever faced. But fortunately, there are some easy tips to help with this disease. Here's Jeff Power. We're bringing the best of California to the Lone Star State. We're right here at the Hotze Health and Wellness Center where Dr. Stephen Hotze will help determine whether or not you have hypothyroidism and how you might be able to cure it. Well, Jeff, hypothyroidism is a condition in which the cells of the human body don't receive enough thyroid hormone. The thyroid hormones are made by the thyroid gland in the neck. They're secreted into the blood. You can have adequate thyroid hormone in your blood, but if you don't get enough into your cells, then your cells run at a suboptimal metabolic rate because thyroid hormones enable your cells to produce and use energy. So what are the symptoms to hypothyroidism, you ask? Well, lack of energy and fatigue, plus hair loss to name a few. Difficulty with weight, brain fog, insomnia, joint and muscle aches and pain, stomach disorders, gastroesophageal reflux, maybe constipation, recurrent and chronic infections. We see women have irregular menstrual cycles, so people tell me, I just feel sick and tired and I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's how hypothyroid patients feel. Dr. Hotze will be the first to tell you natural medicines are the way to go as indicated by his eight-point treatment program. We treat for airborne and food allergies when indicated. We treat for yeast problems, and that's from people that overuse antibiotics. They oftentimes get yeast problems, particularly women, and that can lead to a host of gastrointestinal problems. We treat with natural thyroid hormone replacement, sex hormone replacement. We treat for adrenal fatigue. We use vitamins and minerals and nutrients and also we use a nutritionally balanced eating program to help our guests get on a lifelong path to health and wellness. Dr. Hotze says antidepressants, anti-anxiety and sleep medications are not the way to go if you have hypothyroidism, which is what most doctors prescribe when blood tests don't indicate it. Nobody is sick and tired because they have low levels of pharmaceutical drugs. The aging process is very simple. It's the inevitable decline of your natural occurring hormones. This occurs in men as well in women. It just turns out women have hypothyroidism, that's a low thyroid condition, six times as frequently as men do. In Dr. Stephen Hotze's book, Hypothyroidism, Health and Happiness, The Riddle of Illness Revealed, he mentions the fact that hypothyroidism has been misdiagnosed for years by traditional physicians. Inside this book, he also talks about ways that you can correct that problem. The problem with hypothyroidism is much more prevalent in the United States than you would find it in other industrialized countries. We know this in the United States, 67% of the population is overweight and half of those people are obese. Dr. Hotze says although blood tests are not guaranteed to determine whether whether or not you even have hypothyroidism, the Hotze Health and Wellness Center does test whether or not your thyroid gland is producing enough antibodies to fight it. Even in the face of blood tests that fall within this wide range of normal, we're going to give them a therapeutic trial of natural desiccated thyroid. You want your thyroid hormone levels and your other hormone levels to be at the optimal level where they were when you were in your prime. Dr. Stephen Hotze adding that blood tests alone will not diagnose whether or not you have hypothyroidism. Bringing you the best from California here at the Health and Wellness Center in Houston, I'm Jeff Power, back to California Life.